Welcome to part three of UMC Worship Arts Technical Training, the easy worship up in the crow's nest. And in the crow's nest, of course, to the left as you walk in, you'll see the easy worship computers, computer actually. Simply reach down to the ground, open up that little door, and there's a silver power button right there. Just push that little sucker, and you will see and hear all kinds of lights. There we go, blinking, and you'll hear the machine up and running. It's an older XP computer, so it's going to take a little bit of time to fire up. Don't forget to turn on your monitors. We need both of them. We're cutting some time out. Uh, basically, the opening screen will pop up, and you'll see two icons. The bottom one is the one that we're working on, and the password for that is Texpert, T-E-X-P-E-R-T. -E if you can't remember, it is on a sheet of paper that is taped to the side of the keyboard and you'll see at the very bottom Texpert T-E-X-P-E-R-T so simply just type that sucker in and your computer will fire up again we are cutting out a lot of time because this computer is a little bit slower to open up so let's take a quick jump now if you see any messages pop up at the bottom right just click on the X, uh, close the dialog box. We're not worried about uh, any updates going on. It, we ne almost never, never use them. The one thing to look forward to is right there where the right screen, screen blinks black. When it does that, we know that we are ready to open up Easy Worship. Now on your screen, you're gonna have a bunch of little icons. The ones to worry about the most are up at the top center. Of course, let that uh, super anti-spyware go. It's not going to hurt anything. The ones at the top are the ones we're worried about the most. The n regular one there is just the English language. The one to the left, SL, that is for Spanish language. The PowerPoint icon there, the pre-show announcements. The one to the next of it in the center is the announcements during the sermon. And the one on the right, special occasion sermons like uh, drop in the bucket, etc., etc., and when I get that stuff, what I do is I drag it out of my folder that says Jack, and I drag it to the desktop so that we can add it into Easy Worship, or I'll take it out of BJ's folder or whoever will be in charge from now on. The main folder we're concerned about, Easy Worship Files. That's where we get the Easy Worship Files that are on the desktop. And those are built by, have been built by BJ. Single click on that, and you will see several selections pop up in the new window. And the folders are 2011, Focus, which we used to do, Funerals, which on occasion we do have, Special Services like Easter or Christmas Concerts, the one we need to deal with, Sunday Worship. Single click on that, and it will take you to... Now this is where we save all the Easy Worship files, and I've got this set on date modified, so the latest ones are up at the very, very top. As you can see, the SLs, the SLs, back and forth, back and forth. So we have English and Spanish language. To drag them to the desktop, I just go off to the side, drag and hold and click and drag it again to the desktop. I've already got them saved to my desktop, so I don't need them. There they are right there, ready to go. Now the window that's open, you can either shrink it down or close it. Chances are I gotta come back to that to look for something else. But in the meantime, we got what we need. We're gonna work on English language first, again, this computer is set up for just single click, so move that mouse right on top and click, and Easy Worship will fire up. It's a little bit slow, so let's jump ahead just a little bit. Now then, a little screen is going to pop up after this main screen pops up, so don't touch anything. Let it all load. That's the one we're looking for. Don't worry about anything on this, just click on Finish, and it's good to go. We are ready to work on Easy Worship. There's three columns, left, center, and right. Left is where we plug in everything we're going to use. Center is a preview. Third column is where we actually do the work. But let's take a look at the first column. It's a combination of PowerPoint presentations and songs and sometimes even psalms or uh, portions of the Bible. To get the PowerPoint into here, there's a little icon on the center right there. It says it's a PowerPoint uh, presentation loader. You click on that and it goes to the desktop and you'll see the other PowerPoints that I had laid out. You just single click on any one of those and it will load up into 
of that first column. Everything loads up from top to bottom, so it'll be at the very bottom, and all you have to do is click on it and drag it to the top like I did already. Uh, it's I'm trying to click in the video. You can't hear it because uh, I didn't close this window. So once I close this window, then I can drag anything, click on it once, and drag it to any position that I want to. And that's how we get the PowerPoint to the very top. Now then, let's move on. Okay, once you click on one thing, it goes to the center columns, kind of like a preview. To get it to go up onto the main screen, as you can see, I've already got that part done. It'll go into here. All we have to do is click on Go Live, which, well, let me show you that. There we go. Go Live. It'll bring what's in that column into this column. And once it's in this column, you'll see all the songs, all the lyrics, all the verses down below with its video, if it's done with the video. And those will pop up on the right screen. And whatever is on that right screen, yes, it will be on the projector screens in the very back. So, back to Easy Worship, and we'll show you something real quick here. All the songs that are here, once you click on Go Live, they automatically jump to the center column and then to the right column. It's just like shooting a, a revolver. They advance, advance, advance. So once you click on that first thing on Easy Worship, the first song, the first lyric, anything, you click on Go Live, everything advances. You never have to click back on there. So everything will pop up just as you see it. Everything will be on the screen just as you see it. it I hope I don't make that sound too confusing. Now then, to go from lyric to verse to lyric to verse to lyric to verse, you can use your mouse to click on each lyric, each verse. The easier thing to do is once you click on there, you can use the up and down arrow keys on the keyboard to go from next verse to next verse, back and forth. You can go all the way to the bottom, all the way to the top. Uh, what you can also do is you can use um, the mouse, the cursor, to click on each verse and lyric. That way, in case uh, the musical director wants to go to a particular verse, you can click. It's a matter of choice. I prefer to use the mouse. Totally up to you. Now then, the black and clear buttons we also use. Clear, if you click on that, what it does, it takes this, the words off the screen, so all you have is just the photo in the background. And this is handy if you just want to take off the lyrics. Now if you want to go completely black, click on the black button. That takes the screen to black. This helps because sometimes we don't want to leave the lyrics or the songs on the back screen, and yeah, it's kind of confusing. Now then, bottom left, you'll see where all the songs are, and it's really cool because all you got to do is highlight in there. Click the song that you want, type in the song you want to do, actually, and it will give you all the choices with what you've typed in. And be careful, though. There are many different versions of the songs you're, you're wanting. Simply click, drag, let go, and your song is in the database. Or not database, it's in the, the schedule. And same thing with scriptures. Type in the scripture you want. Find it. And the same thing. Click on it, drag it, drag it into the schedule, you're good to go. Don't forget, you can click and move that any area you want to in there. Now, media, that's where we have all our videos. In particular, that's where we have all our countdown videos. Simply scan through, see if you recognize one that you like. If one catches your eye, just click on it. And to the right, you'll see the preview window. Click play, and you can watch as much as this as you want to to decide if this is the video you want to use. If it is, simply pause, click and drag. Don't forget, turn on the audio on the soundboard to see if this video has audio to it, if you want to use it. If you want to use it, cool. If not, we do have music playing in the background from the uh, CD player anyways. It's a matter of choice. When you drag that countdown video to the top, don't forget, it goes just below the announcements. Announcements always go uh, first. Oh, and don't forget, save your work. If you do a lot of work and computer freezes, you have to do everything all over again. And that is not fun. Trust me, these computers can get kind of cranky, so be careful. Now, like I said before, once you click on that first 
item in the first column and you hit go live, you never have to go back to that first column. Uh, saves you a lot of time. Now then, to go to Spanish language, bring down Easy Worship, and then all you have to do is, well, we're not saving the first version, but click on the Spanish language version, version, and Spanish language will pop up. Same thing, click Finish, and you are good to go with Spanish language. Same exact thing, you click on the first song or or lyric or video or whatever, and you click Go Live, everything shifts automatically. You don't have to go back to that first column at all. And the same thing, the tricky part with this, of course, is you need to know your Spanish or at least can read along to know when to advance the screen from the next screen to the next to the next. So it would help to study, listen to the singers, and pay really close attention. Um, I am I get lost too, trust me. It's it's it's, it's easy it not as easy as it seems. Now then to turn off this computer, really simple, go down to start, click on close down at the bottom, and instead of clicking on the middle icon with that little little shield on it, if you do that it wants to upload a bunch of um uploads, <laughs> basically. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do any installs, we're just gonna do the underlying part because it's a lot faster to shut down this computer and you can get out of there a lot quicker. And at the end, don't forget, turn off your screens.